Deputy Gary Gannon. Minister, the only one from this chamber who's created a false binary choice in relation to antigen testing was Stephen Donnelly on radio yesterday when he said the reason we can't have free antigen testing in this country because that's the cost of a nurse. That was a binary that the government themselves created. 637,000 people in this country are living in poverty. Every Christmas, they're fearful of their spending because it's cut close to the bone. And now we're telling them that we haven't got a subsidised scheme for antigen testing and creating false binaries. And today we find out, and you may deny it, but it's been told TDs are going to be getting antigen tests for free. That is ludicrous. That's completely untrue. It's not untrue. Completely untrue. No, and if untrue. you're going to come in here and make statements or rush out do to you the have media, the scheme, make, do or you rush have out to the media, Deputy, and make statements, do please get your facts correct. Why are you accusing rushing out to the media? Please get your facts Retract correct. Retract that statement. Get retract that statement. Correct. I'll tell you what, tell me about the scheme by which TDs can pay for their antigen tests, or you retract that statement. Tell me about the scheme. Tell me about, this, tell me about how I pay for an but antigen you're, test. You're, What's you're, the scheme? You're telling people something that's completely incorrect. This is what was conveyed from the business committee. Are they? Yes. This Why is what was they? Right. Are you going to, Am I rushing out to talk to the media? Go on, carry on. Are you going to retract that statement? I certainly am not. When am I rushing out to talk to the media? <laughs> Deputy, we're not fools. So, just remember that. When you're asking other people to retract the statement, remember that false equivalent mm. you made there. People are living in poverty in this country. It's a pathetic excuse that we can't have free antigen testing for everybody across society because of the excuse that was given by Minister Donnelly yesterday. People are cut to the bone. They can't be expected to pay for antigen testing. Imagine being a carer, a one parent family in this country. We need free antigen testing because it keeps everybody safe. And until they see the scheme, I won't retract the statement that TDs are getting it for free. And we're certainly getting it before skills are getting it. It's pathetic. Thank you, Deputy. It's pathetic, Minister. Ken. I understand some half a million antigen tests have been distributed across a whole range of different sectors targeted because it was sectors at greatest risk, the likes of nursing homes. Less than one for every person living in poverty. Agreed. But, the, but there has not... And, and at no stage... I, I, we've been involved in opposition initially and then in government. I don't think I've ever heard throughout this whole process where they, someone has argued, oh, we can't afford an economic, or, you know, the economics of us addressing COVID is going to be the biggest constraint. There's been no shortage or will, no lack of willingness to provide funding either for the health system or the uh, economic and social supports that need to be put in place. Tens of billions the of minister euros without in place. The minister in without, the minister without, the minister without interruption. The minister, the minister without interruption. The Minister without interruption. Well, I was, I was interrupted. You didn't without want to interruption. Interrupt the media, not the scheme of please. Yeah, please. The exact mechanisms of delivering antigen tests. The main concern has been on a health basis, on the health issue in terms of the risks that would come with false negatives or a whole range of other different issues with regard to I believe they can are, are been overcome. The exact mechanism for delivery and the exact cost is something that the Minister of Health has to, has to decide upon. Thank you, Minister. He Time has is to up. decide what some of that other money could be used in other elements. But there is no to, to depict it as, uh, as being restrictive in terms of funding action on, on COVID. That has not been the case. Deputy McBarry, please. Deputy McBarry.